Milodi Sundowns are through to the group stage of Africa's prestigious and most lucrative club football competition, the CAF Champions League. Sundowns won the second leg of their tie against Libya's al Ahly Benghazi 4-0 <coughs> at the Loftus Fasfeld for a 4-0 aggregate win after a goalless first leg in Cairo last week. Meanwhile, Orlando Pirates also made it uh, through the preliminary round of uh, the Champions League. Pirates beat African stars of Namibia 1-0 on aggregate. Cars achieves all through to the second round of the CAF Confederation Cup after beating El Gecko Plus of Madagascar 3-0 in the second leg of their tie. All Chiefs won the two-legged 6-0 after they won the first leg in Durban 3-0 just last week. Well, coming back uh, closer to home in local football news, Cape Town City will end the year in the top eight of the APSA Premiership log after coming back from two goals down to beat Bloemfontein Celtic 3-2 at the Cape Town Stadium last night. At halftime, uh, the Steve Compella led Celtic were up by two goals only for Benny McCarthy's troops to come back stronger in the second stander, netting three times. Let's take a look at the highlights from that game. All right. Well, moving on, uh, DJ Nation's uh, annual bash, affectionately known as uh, uh, 28 December, started way back in 2007 in Dawung with just uh, 200 people. Over a decade, the annual DJ Nation bash has been one of the most notable end-of-year functions or events on the Northwest calendar. Hosting local and international talent this year will see big names in the music industry such as Casper Nyovest, a.k.a. Black Motion and Wasisa set the stage alight. Well, Nation Mokwabwane is the event's organizer and he joins us now to tell us more about what to expect at this year's festival. DJ Nation, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for making the time. Thank you, Pelin. Thanks for the opportunity. Great. So this event has been 10 years in existence, I mean, over a decade. What has led to the success of your DJ Nation annual bash? I think it is uh, what I've been doing if I tell people that I'm uh, bringing specific artist DJs from overseas, but what Salohanya and they trust what I'm doing, and they come through, and uh, I think uh, being honest and also making sure that whoever that I book, whoever is on the lineup, comes through, and uh, also after the show itself, the word of mouth that Nereliku Taung ku DJ Nishi ne, and but when they were booked, they came through. I can imagine that there's been a lot of highlights, there's been a lot of disappointments over the years as the event is growing and you're learning more about just what the people want. Tell us about some of the highlights and the lowlights that you've experienced. Yeah, well, uh, on the highlight note, uh, apart, from the, what, apart from what the event is doing for, for local people in terms of them getting something, accommodation, transport, it is one of the highlights. And also for the fact that town is one of the poorest villages in South Africa, uh, now people can say that I am from Tau, our grandparents as well, as one of the highlights, uh, the families. Back then, uh, people would go overseas and travel, but before they do that, they go home. And I think that is some of the highlights. One of, some of the highlights as well is the fact that three couples met at, at my event, and today they are married. Oh, yes. people were proposed. Yeah. On the stage. No, no. Oh, okay. And then from the uh, today they're married. You know what, <laughs> DJ Nation? I think uh, I'm turning 32 soon, so I need to come to that yes, event, and yes, yes, maybe yes. I'll walk away with someone. Yeah. So, so this year there seems to be a little bit of confusion. Kahore event your nagai. Is it going to be at the Taung Sports Ground? Where? Okay. Where's the venue? The, the event this year will be at Town Sports Ground. Mm -hmm. Initially, we did move it because of some problems that we had, and but the, the local security cluster decided to take the event back. So the event is at Town Sports Ground uh, this year. It's starting on the 26th in Kuruman with the pre-party at the Eat Lounge. The 27th is at Town Hotel School and Convention Center. That's where people dress up properly. Red carpet, and then the main event is on the 28th at Town Sports Ground. Oh, that's why I'm about to back there, but Thomas, what are you doing? The wet wet. Let's talk about the lineup. It's bigger and better this year. Tell us who's going to be performing. Um, one of the main uh, attractions is Manu from France. Uh, I was looking forward to come with him this morning, but he had other commitments. And also we've got uh, Tulo Jisong. Uh, he's one of the biggest in South Africa. Chekaina, uh, aka Kaspar, Busiswa, Ralph Kam. 
uh, the list and obviously local people uh, in Taung we've got uh, beer men from Kuruman, Kand, uh, Kundas Nels, Poposki and IVM. All right, DJ Nation, all the best. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks so much. So that's Nation Mokwabone, better known by his stage name, DJ Nation. He's been speaking to us about his annual bash that's taking place in his home village of Dawung at the sports ground. And it's from the 27th to the 29th of December. Stay with us. Yeah.